When editing walls in SoftPlan, there are several options to help automatically shape the wall from the top of wall tab. These include Fit to Roof, Fit to Ceiling, Fit to Stair, and Clip to Roof. This demonstration will discuss the difference in these tools and how they can be used to quickly and efficiently achieve the correct wall framing. Here we have a design consisting of a simple Cape Cod home. Currently on the second floor, all walls are set to an 8 foot height with the exception of two plate walls drawn along the top and bottom of the plan. These plate walls are used to simulate a 2x4 nailer plate on top of the subfloor, allowing the roof rafters to bear on top of them. Once a roof is added, with the gables left and right, the majority of the second floor walls are too tall and will need to be modified for their heights to fit under the roof line. For the first gable end, we can select Fit to Roof from the top of wall tab. The entire wall is balloon framed to fit completely under the existing gable roof edge. For the second gable, we will select Clip to Roof instead. This will only trim the parts of the wall that are above the roof line, leaving the tallest part of the wall at the original 8 foot height. This allows for the gable end material to be different than the wall material and to add a transition trim piece. By generating a 3D framing view, we can more clearly see the difference in how the gable end walls have been framed. The wall that was fit to roof has extended to the roof line along the entire length of the wall, while the second wall only has been clipped where it was above the roof line. The two partitions running left to right need to be shortened to fit under the roof. This can be done by editing the walls and selecting Fit to Roof. This establishes the correct height for these two walls to apply a sloped ceiling. To create the ceiling, from Ceiling Mode, select Draw, Ceiling, Manual Trace. Once the ceiling is in place, edit the ceiling as a whole and specify a pitch of 12 inches. Since the gable end walls are raked, the left and right edges of the ceiling are automatically set to vertical intersects. By editing one of the remaining ceiling edges to be a double hip, the top of the ceiling can be configured to be flat by setting the pitch to 12 inches and pitch top to horizontal. The run of the pitch is controlled by the distance, so a 4 foot distance will set the ceiling to a max height of 8 feet. With the ceiling added, we can turn off the display of the roof surfaces under Options Materials to more clearly see the ceiling design from within the 3D view. By editing the remaining interior partitions, they can all be set to Fit to Ceiling. The 3D framing view shows how the interior partitions have been shaped. One final automated top of wall tool is to allow a wall to follow the slope of the stair it is drawn under. In the main floor, the left edge of the stair needs to be opened. So the wall under the stairs can be edited and fit to stair selected. The top of the wall then fits itself under the stringer of the stair above it.